welcome back in this video i'm going to demonstrate how you can create your first pdf viewer with pdf viewer for wordpress so let's get started once you have installed and activated the pdf viewer for wordpress on your website navigate to your admin panel and then pdf viewer add new put a title here make sure to keep it relevant as you will be using it to identify which pdf file is being displayed using this viewer and also this title will be used as the viewer page title so i'll just use a magazine pdf as i will be using a magazine pdf with this one so select, click on upload i already have the pdf uploaded here so i'll just select okay and then in the page mode you can select from various options the default displays the pdf viewer without any uh, sidebar opened thumbnails option displays the thumbnails on the left sidebar and bookmarks displays the bookmarks on the left side attachments will display the attachments on the left sidebar so i'll just keep it default and then default zoom you can set it according to your choice and then the default scrolling mode if you want to use it as a flip book you need to select flip here otherwise if you want to have it scroll vertically then you need to choose vertical if you want to have it scroll horizontally then you need to select horizontal and if you want to have it scroll in wrapped mode then you just select this wrapped option here so i'll keep the flip option selected and then default spread if you want to want the spread mode to be none or odd or even you can select any of those according to your choice i'll just keep it none and then viewer language there are lots of different languages to choose from i am going to keep the us a e and us option here so jump to page this is useful if you want to open a specific page when uh, the viewer is opened so i will oh, keep it blank as i want to open the pdf on the first page okay so this is the settings done for the first tab and then toolbar elements uh, here is a nice option use global settings you can keep this on if you want to use the global settings for this pdf viewer or if you want to customize the toolbar items uh, you can just set it to off and as you can see all the toolbar item settings are here and you can enable or disable any of the toolbar items so i'm going to keep it as use global so just uh in a side note you can set the global options here on the global settings menu and then the toolbar here are the global settings for toolbar elements okay so i'll keep it the global settings use and then appearance tab we also have the use global settings part in this appearance tab as well you can uh, turn it off to see what options is it providing you can select a custom theme or custom color so if you select theme in the next selection box you have the option to select which theme you want to use for this particular viewer or if you choose color you will be asked to provide the color choices for this viewer and the icon style there are two style of icons dark and light dark means black icons and light means white icons so if you are using a dark primary color uh, you will be obviously using the light icon if you're using light primary colors you'll be using the dark icons here so i'll keep this one as use global settings also okay so that's basically it you don't have to do anything in this tab at this moment so i'm done with setting up the things I'll just key, uh, hit on publish okay. and done now you can click on this view post oh uh, okay so we're getting a page not found 
So this is an important thing. You can, if you face something like this page not found error, you just need to go to settings and then permalinks and whatever. Just select the preferred permalink and click on save changes. And now reload the page, it's here, okay? So we have created the PDF viewer here. As you can see the shape book. Okay, so this is how you can create your first uh, PDF viewer using the PDF viewer for WordPress plugin. And thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one.